across the room When I eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Today I'm going to show you a day in the life of a part-time Fiverr freelancer. So if you don't know what Fiverr is, it's a website for freelancers. So basically you create a gig and you offer a service and people pay you for it. So personally what I do on Fiverr is I beta read. So I do beta reads or manuscript critiques. Basically a very simple explanation is people send me their manuscripts and I give them feedback on the manuscripts as a reader. A lot of people do get volunteer beta readers on manuscripts, so for example, you finish your second draft and you send it out to some friends that you know will like it or will want to read it and they'll give you feedback. So this is just a little bit more in depth, I mean it isn't necessarily, maybe you have some really good beta readers, but you know, I'm sure there's people that don't know any writers or people that would want to read their manuscripts, so they pay people to read them. So that's kind of the gist of it. I will tell you more about it later, we have all day to talk about it, but first I need some coffee. So it's about 6.30 right now, um, it's pretty early, I like to start my day off with a big chunk of quiet time so that I can get some reading in. Not that it's necessarily loud ever, but I just like, I like feeling like I'm the only person awake. So depending on the day, I might go and get Starbucks or I might just make a coffee at home. Um, today, obviously, I'm making a coffee at home. sufficiently caffeinated, well, on the way to being sufficiently caffeinated, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what I'm going to do today. So, I'm currently working on three manuscripts. One of them is 180k, which is the biggest order I've ever had. So that one is taking priority right now. It's due in about a week. It is due on July 2nd. So two of my projects are due on July 2nd. One of them is due on July 9th. I'm not going to be reading all three of them today because that doesn't really make any sense. I started the 180k a few days ago, so I'm going to continue on with that until it's finished, which it's probably going to take me all weekend. So this is basically my setup for the day. Typically what I would do is I would use my MacBook and I would hook up my external monitor with this. So I would usually have, I would be reading this story on my Mac and then I would be writing notes on my external monitor. Today though, I'm going to be using a different computer, just an older one, um, with certain files I like to not do it on my Mac just because. So I'll be using a different computer, so that's going to pop up at some point, but for aesthetic purposes this morning, we're using the Mac. So yeah, that's basically it. In terms of supplies, uh, it's basically just my computer and then I take notes by hand as well on a clipboard that's super nerdy. but. It works. So I won't be doing that today because this is such a large manuscript that I'm taking all my notes on the computer. So yeah, that's basically what's happening. I have some YouTube stuff that I need to take care of this morning, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna start reading. Something I do wanna mention is that, not part of my Fiverr day, but it's part of my Saturday, is that I live stream at 9 a.m. So that's in a couple hours, so we'll be doing that as well. 
So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day, so let's get started. stream it's about 8 30 right now so my hair doesn't look like a complete mess like it did before this is the first stream that i've actually done anything with my hair for i've just tied it up in a bun for the last two and i'm sick of it so i'm gonna rearrange this a little bit i need to use my mac to stream so we'll get that hooked up get it hooked up to the external monitor I charged my headphones, so that's great. I held those up so weird. Yeah, I got through a few more pages of beta reading. So this is about 250 pages. I'm on page 18 or so, which is fine. They're really long pages. The typing, like the words are like super squished together. So it should not be 250 pages. Like it should be a lot more than that. So it's gonna, it's taking a long time to read each page. Typically like a page would be about 250 words at double spaced, but they're like 800 words right now. So yeah. So anyways, I'm going to move some of this stuff and then I'll check back. So I just grabbed a snack. See if you can guess which one I dropped while I was putting it on the plate. It was that one. <laughs> okay. So my live stream starts in about 10 minutes. So I... Got my computer set up, I grabbed a snack, it's like breakfast, it's just deviled eggs. I had a couple boiled eggs. So yeah, I should probably get ready for this stream. I'm gonna tell you what I'm working on right now. So basically what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna work a little bit on Project Blade. So I have not been writing during the week at all because I've been busy with beta reading. So instead of writing during the week, what I do is I write during my Saturday streams. So that's what I've been doing for the last two weeks. And it's honestly been working out pretty good. I get quite a few words in. I'll tell you kind of like how I've been doing with, with words. So I'm currently sitting at about 25,000 words in my project, um, 25,426 if you want to get really specific. So last weekend I wrote 1,374 words and the weekend before I wrote 9,000, 9, mm, I wish, I wrote 963. So yeah, it's been pretty good. I'm thinking that I may or may not participate in camp crazy, I know. I might set my goal to 25,000, like that might be way too ambitious. I should probably set it to like 10,000, but we'll see. I just feel like this project has been going really well and I wanna keep that going. I don't wanna lose momentum on it because I think it's just kind of, it's getting really, really exciting. I've just kind of passed the break into two and now we're exploring act two, so yeah. So I'm gonna write for at least some of the stream today. It'll go for two hours and We'll see what happens. I'm, I'll probably write for the whole thing, but right now I am going to try and eat this in like five minutes before I have to start, and I will check in later. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How are you all? Let me know in the comments how your day is going. Just 
now and I'm about to go outside for a walk. So I don't really want to, but I'm going to because I feel like I need to, you know, get some fresh air and kind of get back into the headspace for reading. So I wrote a bunch of words. How many words did I write? Do we know? I wrote around 800 words, just a little bit under 800 words. So that was decent. And yeah, I'm gonna probably have to read for the rest of the day. I have a lot of work to do, so yeah. It's nice, a lot of people came to the stream. I feel like it's getting progressively more uh, each time I stream, which is great, because I left YouTube for a while, for a couple months didn't post because I was really busy with freelancing, and then now I'm back. So yeah, I'm glad that it's getting to be more and more busy and I love that the people who are attending right now are like super active in the comments like in the chat so that's great but yeah I'm gonna take you guys along with me on a walk and then we'll come back and read some more so alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go wanna go calling sick in the morning baby don't leave Okay, so I haven't given you guys an update in a little bit, so you kind of saw my little montage there. So it's now like three, and we just got our groceries delivered, which was great. And at the same time, we went and got Starbucks and uh, just got back, and our groceries had gotten delivered. So, weirdest thing happened at Starbucks. I've never had this happen before. So, somebody paid for my drink. So we were in the drive-thru and the person, like the car in front of us, paid for our order, my drink. So that was really cool. I've literally never had that happen. It's the weirdest thing. I, um, that's super neat. So I don't know. So now I should start reading again because I haven't really read anything since then. That's kind of all the update that I have. I guess I, you know, at the beginning I told you that I was going to tell you a little bit more about fiber, so I guess I can do that now. So basically, like I said, what I do is I beta read on fiber. The kinds of things that I look for when I beta read, I look at plot holes, at the plot development, I look at character arcs, I look at uh, dialogue, I look at pacing, uh, world building, stuff like that. So I kind of just look at it and then I create a reader report giving my feedback, telling them if anything was confusing, things that I really liked, talking about their character arcs, talking about any plot holes I saw. And I do an analysis of the first chapter, so I go through the first chapter to say like, yes, I like this first line, it made me want to keep reading, or no, it didn't make me want to keep reading, I think you need to make it stronger. I think the most, definitely the most often I'm commenting on character arcs or like lack of character arc and character kind of like development over the story. Um, in terms of pricing, so I can tell you guys what I charge, um, I'll put it up on the screen here. So. For anything that's under 30,000 words, so it'd be zero to 30,000 words, uh, would be $30 American. And then from there, it's above 30,000, but below 60,000. So anything between 30 and 60 is $50 American. And then anything from 60 to 100,000 is $60 American. So then after that, I do custom pricing for bigger manuscripts. So like I said, I'm working on 180K right now. So I would just price that at my discretion. And yeah, so at this time I've completed 42 orders, I think. And yeah, people have left some super nice reviews. It's really fun to see how this helps people and how much they value the feedback. And um, yeah, it makes me really happy just helping people with their stories and you know, just being able to be a part of that. I think it's really cool to be a part of someone's story before it's published. I just think that's really neat and I re yeah, I really like doing it. Speaking of that, I should probably get back to reading because this is a day in the life of a fiber freelancer and I haven't really done that much freelancing, so let's go. And yeah, we're crazy deep in love. Okay guys, I'm back with another update. So I went and had supper, we watched some Grey's Anatomy, and it is now 
late. Uh, it's like 8.30. So I'm on page 28 of this manuscript. I wanted to get to page 75 today, but that's obviously not happening. So just a little update kind of about what I was doing. So I read for a little bit what you saw, and I also had a message on Fiverr about an order. So somebody sent me the information about their book and I gave them an offer for the price and the amount of days it would take to read it. So that was exciting. So I have another order. So much for taking the month of July off. I already had four orders due in the month of July. So <laughs> I'm doing well. So basically my goal is to have this book finished by Tuesday, this one that I'm currently on because I need time to work on my second one because they're on, they're due on the same day, like an hour apart. So I need to be done both of them. So I really need to get going on this, but I'm also super tired. I'm trying to like drink some water to wake up or something. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so tired. Well, I know it's because I'm a grandma. You know, it is really cool though. So Diane Marie, a little while ago on her channel, had a contest that I entered. And if you don't know Diane Marie, check her out. So I actually won a free year of masterclass from Diane. So I am super, super excited. She just sent it to me and I literally cannot wait, you guys. I am going to do so many videos for you on what I learned from masterclass and just fun vlogs of me doing masterclass all day because that is so fun. So that's definitely another reason why I think I want to take some time off is because I want to have time to do that kind of like fun stuff, but also it's kind of like, do I want to do that in the summer or should I wait till the, anyways, this is a big debacle. I have a one year masterclass subscription, so that is super, super exciting. I also don't know if I told you guys, I signed up for Epidemic Sound while I was on my stream today. So that was really cool. If you're looking for a music subscription to use for videos and stuff, uh, check out the link in my description and I can get a free month of Epidemic Sound if you use it. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. I should probably read some more. I need to try and wake myself up somehow. I don't know. Whew. But this vlog is very quickly coming to a close and I'm really proud of myself that I'm actually going to have a vlog. So we'll see how long this ends up being. I don't really know, but yeah, that's what's going on. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't want to. Okay, so I totally forgot to update you guys yesterday. I was so tired. So basically I got to page 40 in this manuscript um, and I've read five more this morning. And this vlog is only one day, I promise. I'm ending the vlog right here. So yeah, this was my day in the life of a Fiverr freelancer. Sorry, part-time Fiverr freelancer. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little idea of what it is I've been doing and kind of why I've been completely AWOL from YouTube for a while. I'm back now but yeah it was a good day i didn't get as much done as i wanted but i mean that's kind of what happens when you vlog honestly like ask anybody when you vlog you don't get as much done because you're so focused on trying to like get the shots and stuff so yeah basically what i did yesterday i worked on a manuscript i uh set up i locked in another order basically on fiverr so I'm waiting for that to come in today with the requirements. That'll be really exciting. It's a little bit of a shorter one, so. But yeah, I really need to get going on this manuscript. I'm not vlogging today, but I really hope you enjoyed my day in the life of a part-time Fiverr freelancer. And if you have any questions for me, put them down below. I really should have done that in an Instagram story if you guys had any questions for me, but I wasn't that prepared. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. This is everything